Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another Monday Motivation. That's right. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about always keep moving, no matter what. Alright? Even if you are in muddy waters and there's a lot of noise and things to get through, it doesn't matter. Alright? You just got to always keep moving. So in today's episode, actually, I'm going to flip it around so you guys can see what I got to plow through. Alright? Because that's the thing. This is life. You just gotta plow through life sometimes. And not sometimes, always. All right? And that's the thing, guys. That life, life is always throwing things at you all the time, constantly. It's just all over the place. And so what are you gonna do? Are you gonna like react? How are you gonna react to it? You know what I mean? Like you see like that guy just stopped there in the middle of, uh, of his walking pattern. You know, if I wasn't uh, paying attention, I would have smashed right into him. You know, and all that good stuff. So. Again, guys, you know, today's talk is all about just walking through, man. Just walking. Just making it through. You know, just basically. All right, let's do it. Just plow through. And that's basically it. And so, you know, so we're going to break this down as we always break everything down here. Um, as to how we can plow through life. Well, listen, guys. You know, basically, as you get older, as you get hit over the head by life as um all these things called experience start happening to you and hit you you realize oh wait a minute i'm plowing through in fact how it works is that if you successfully you know um what what is it uh, if you successfully um get through these things a lot of these things that are constantly happening no matter what good bad ugly um then that, that will be considered plowing through the whole plowing through things is um a lot of metaphors to that you know what i mean basically because you don't want to plow through everything i mean again that's what she said but the point is is that you basically you really don't want to be plowing through everything you got to sometimes sit back and enjoy the roses you know smell the roses something something about smelling and with roses you know what i'm saying but the point is sometimes you got to do that because otherwise you see something happens like what i just happened there where i had a brain fart and i can't say it correctly and really when i say what i really meant to say which was sometimes you got to just chill stop oh ah, and smell the roses or you're gonna have an accident just like i almost had there and almost uh i almost tackled that old lady you know like fucking uh like a linebacker but anywho but yeah, guys, basically, though, I mean, you're not going to want to be plowing through every single point in your life. There's some, there's a lot of points in your life where, you know, you, you know, you don't want to be plowing through. You know, plowing through is not a good thing. All right, let me see. I get tengo, señor. Disculpa, lo que tenía en el bolsillo. I only had a couple pesos. But it's all right, though. It's all right, a couple pesos is uh, something. Anyways, all right, what was I saying? But yeah, guys, you know, the point is, is that a lot of times... You know, in life, you are being um, put in difficult situations. You are going through difficult situations. Difficult situations arise. They just do. Look, even though a good majority of the things in my life and a good majority of the things that I do are, you know, um, you know, they look easy or even the, the difficult things. I, I forgot. I lost my train of thought. Anyways, the point of yeah, what I was going to say, what, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, so yeah. What was I? What, what, what I was gonna say? <laughs> Sorry. What I was something. See, look, something off camera was distracting me. And no, it wasn't that guy. It was something completely different. I didn't even see that guy until I almost bumped into him. Anyway, sorry. Sorry. I am the. I am the. Keep your eyes on the balls. Keep your eyes on the balls. But yeah, guys. What was I saying? Before I rudely interrupted myself. Oh yeah, so the thing is, is that, like for example, um, the reason I'm making this video is because uh, a few, uh, you know, a few days ago, I had a little bit of a rough, difficult situation. Um, nothing, nothing crazy, but um, definitely something, by the way, great restaurant. I already made a video about it, check it out, other channel. Shameless plug, check out my other channel so you can see me coming to this restaurant with my, my honey bunny and having some ceviche and fish and all kinds of good stuff. Then again, so yeah guys, so basically, as I was saying, again, I completely forgot, yet again, 
man what, this is a horrible horrible monday motivation oh yeah about the plowing through so yeah you know you know basically everything in my life right now is pretty awesome everything is going pretty good you know i, I mean r seriously you know things are you know kicking on all cylinders but from time to time you know like i had the other day i had a miscommunication with a good friend out there and uh you know basically you know um i i, I was uh, having a good time well, you know what, what is it we were going through something together and i was having a good time while they were not and um, basically just a confusion there as to me not understanding why he wasn't having a good time and i was having a good time led to some rocky roads but what what, what was i gonna do there am i gonna you know sit back and, and cry and get upset and yell at him and etc 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 or am i gonna just plow on through you know meaning you know get my uh get my sand out of my vagina you know and uh you know basically man up apologize uh for my misinterpretation or you know just own up to it or whatever you know basically it wasn't a, a thing where neither one of us was at fault but i said fuck it i'll take it i'll take i'll take the i'll take a hit this time i'll take one for the team because in reality in retrospect it doesn't really matter so why not and um yeah you know what i mean at the end of the day it was all about just understanding the situation getting through the situation being there for a friend um and and just things like that and everything just kind of like solves itself Bas basically whoa <laughs> almost ate it on there i don't know if you guys caught that but where did i care <laughs> what hold on one over here well i don't know exactly uh, where i caught it there damn who knows anyways I, I think i was dragging my feet dragging my feet but anyways yeah i almost fucking ate it hardcore there but it's all good though we survived we survived so again is a little unrelated here but again the most dangerous the most dangerous thing out here in medina mexico for all of you guys that still are not aware are the streets are this you know whether it's the drivers or or the sidewalks or whatever it is keep your eyes open always look in front of you all right even i got four eyes i got six eyes i got i got the camera i got my glasses and i got my eyes and i still couldn't see that shit. so anyways all right but back to what i was saying though you know guys at the end of the day it's all about just going forward plowing through life you know meaning how are you going to plow through life how are you going to plow through life are you going to plow through life like what you're doing right now which is uh you know hating your, your your job your life your what have you you know going in every monday having that monday blues getting to friday as like your favorite day of the week you know doing the same old shit every weekend doing the same old shit every fucking night every single day at work i mean that's i mean you can plow through life like that or you can do what i do all right which i know a lot of you guys want to do which is plow through life like i plow through life i just fucking plow through it i mean basically and you know for the longer you guys watch this channel the more you get to see the fruits of my labor and um and a lot of and a lot of you guys surprise me as well because a lot of you guys take um um inspiration from what i do in my story and then you guys go out there and you guys report back to me and let me know about you know your your awesome experience and how you guys you know plowed through it and how you guys you know made it and how you guys did what you did and you know a lot of times you guys tell me i helped you or inspired you and that means so much to me it's fucking crazy and um that, that's kind of like my fuel more than anything else to to this plow you know why i keep doing this because a lot of times you know sometimes i'll look at one of my monday motivation videos and i see like nobody's watching them nobody's watching them, nobody's watching them and then before i know it i see bam everybody watches them and so you know when i come when it comes down to it i know a lot of you guys are watching these things and um you know basically when i when i when i say um, i'm now enjoying the fruits of my labors is basically because i am i right now what's going on is the fact that i am now um living off of me making all of these videos you know whether whether it's a monday motivation video 
um, talking about um, the other things that I talk about here or whether it's um, the Mexico videos that I make on this channel and on the other channel or whether I'm talking about um, you know other things or whether I'm talking about other things you know such as uh, well you know the things that I talk about on this channel and in fact if you don't you should check out the rest of this channel take a you know take a few take a few seconds right now to you know like and subscribe and all that shit but anyways the point is is that um you know if, if i have been uh, put in a position very recently where um i got two strikes on this channel um this channel could be around could not be around i mean i don't know but did that put a stop to anything i'm doing no not at all in fact what did i do I very simply just uh, put my head down and I got to work and I plowed through it and uh, here I am now in fact the video I'm, re I'm walking home now but as you guys already know I record two videos usually we you know one on the way to, to Centro and then on the other one on the way back and um, in this case you know you guys already saw the other video that I well, you guys already saw the other video that I uh, um, recorded a couple days ago because it was just like an update on this channel on where I am where I'm gonna be you know all of the things that are going on here and um, again what am I doing I'm just plowing right through it I'm all happy and smiles and just having a great old time in fact now I'm really making again every time that something like this happens and I keep plowing through it I keep doing more and more of the things that I really really want to do so like right now, I'm doing, uh, right now I'm doing like podcasts, you know, meaning like comedy podcasts. I'm doing other podcasts. Um, uh, I'm doing collaborations with others. Um, I, I am, I'm making way more, uh, you know, the travel Mexico videos and I'm, I'm, I'm putting a lot more effort and work into them. And uh, I'm shit, man, you know what I mean? Like again, you know, so many things that I'm doing uh, constantly and they're just um, helping me so much you know what I mean like uh, um, in the sense of like um, and by plowing through it um, and I'm seeing even more fruits to my labor and not letting any one thing you know like just get in my way or none of that shit you know you know basically you know what, what's happening now is that uh, again you know like I'm finding out that um, I, I want to do these other things as, as opposed to the things that I was already doing so example I was uh, doing the Instagram videos and they were great and they were awesome and I wanted to do comedy and all this other stuff but it seemed like uh, um, for whatever reason I was kind of being limited by that because whatever XYZ and now all of a sudden you know I'm doing a podcast with a good friend of mine out there um, you guys already um, have seen it it's uh, the boomer and the zoomer oh wow look at that building holy crap that building man if you guys watch some of my older videos that thing was a uh, Hunkin hunk of shit. Look at this. Holy wow. Holy wows. Anyways. Yeah, man. Things just are constantly turning around here. But anyway, so yeah, but but I'm doing that podcast is like a comedy type type, type ugh, a comedy type podcast. I'm doing um I'm just doing so many more uh, endeavors now, like I said, and I'm really, really enjoying uh, what I'm doing more now than what I did before. So, again, the whole YouTube uh, apocalypse thing that happened in December and the subsequent uh, strikes that happened after that and all that basically have uh, inspired me to do even more, to do even better quality stuff, to, again, plow on through because I was not going to be stopped. I was not going to be silenced. I was not going to be any of these things. And because uh, I decided to just plow through, oh my goodness, are you kidding me? You know, like the, the results uh, speak for themselves. And uh, again, at least me personally, from my, my standpoint, I, I couldn't be any happier. So yeah, basically again, why? Because I just decided to plow right through it. No excuses, you know, and just do the work. And uh, you know, basically put into action, you know, all the, you know, Monday motivation shit that I'm always telling you guys about. But, you know, one thing is talking to talk and the other one is walking to walk. And again, I know that's why you guys enjoy watching me because it's not just talking to talk, it's walking to walk. And um, a lot of you guys already um, have, uh, 
A lot of you guys have already, you know, been following me um, through all these other avenues that I've been going through. You know, meaning you guys are already watching, listening to my podcast. You guys are already subscribed to the other channel. You guys are already doing a lot of that really, really cool stuff. Meaning that you guys want to, you know, keep listening to me and keep uh, watching me. And so um, I'm here. And that's it. You know what I mean? So uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stop. I'm not gonna give up. I'm not gonna use uh, those things as an excuse because there are no excuses. You know what I mean? The excuses are just reasons you tell yourself to to not do something. And um, I want to do these things, and I'm gonna continue to do these things. And again, plow through, plow through. Meaning, again, when somebody says, "Oh, that's a bad idea," what do you do? You plow through. When somebody's telling you, "Hey, don't do this," because pl plow through. You know, you just plow through fucking everything. And that's basically it. I mean, I don't know what else to say, except um, the more you plow through life, the better results you're gonna get. And again, you know, there are moments in life, you know, like I want, like I've said, you know, where you, 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 you know, you just have to stop and smell the roses. You gotta go a little, you know, softer, a little whatever. But you know, a good majority of life, you gotta just fucking plow through it. But how are you gonna plow through it? Again, are you plowing through it, like in the sense of like in the movie Office Space? You know, it's like, oh, do you gotta, uh, seems like somebody's got a case of the Mondays. You know, like, is that is that how you're plowing through it? Or are you gonna plow through it like, uh, like you know, Uncle Jose out here is plowing through it? And uh, that's it, but that choice is up to you. That choice is not up to me. I got absolutely nothing to do with this. Um, well, a little bit to do with it. I mean, I am making these videos after all, right? <laughs> but, um, but you know, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I mean, it's up to you, not up to me that's it so what are you gonna do about it that's it i mean basically that's what i should just um title these episodes and these videos like what are you gonna do about it what are you gonna do about it what the fuck are you gonna do about it and that's it if you're not happy what are you gonna do about it if you want to change what are you gonna do about it you know and then just uh, again pretty much that's the this uh um how about this you know there's this guy out there jocko Jocko, whatever the fuck. And, um, you know, he fucking has this thing. I think I put it in one of my videos one time. It got demonetized. Whatever. The point is, is that I'm not going to put it at the end of this one. But, you know, he was basically, you know, saying good after everything. What do I mean? It's like, oh, I got a flat tire. Good. Fix it. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, um, my, my husband or my wife left me. Good. Get another one. It's like, oh, um, this job is so hard and so difficult. Good. You know, um, make yourself stronger. And like, that's it, you know what I mean? Like at the end of the day, it's like, just the same thing I'm always telling you, you know, and telling everybody, you know, you gotta, life is great. You know, you gotta look at the positive side of things. You gotta really, you know, switch up um, how you think about things and your priorities and all that stuff. And then when you start looking at life from that point of view, you know, meaning uh, that you're just gonna fucking plow on through to, to the other side and that's basically it and you're not gonna take no for an answer and you're the one that you know like i was telling a friend of mine the other day i had to talk him off the ledge you know because uh the whole situation with uh what happened last monday black monday you know i had to talk my few friends off the ledge there but you know basically again you know just like um like i was telling him like what scarface like what scarface says it's all about balls okay only balls give orders okay only balls fucking give orders okay and that's basically it you know you don't got to be taking no orders from nobody unless you want to take orders from somebody and um and in order to do that you got to have balls in order for you not to take orders from anybody you got to have balls in order for you to give orders you got to have balls in order for you to plow through life you got to have balls and it's just things like that you know it's like so you know balls grapefruits fat titties whatever the fuck you want to say but again that's basically it i mean you know what are you gonna do about it right what are you gonna do about it and with that i think i'm gonna bring this one to an end babies because that's it we're here we're home all right but you know what look at this it's even more interesting i'm sure you guys have seen this look at this they plowed right through that shit Some guy came out here, bought all these fucking homes, tore this whole fucking thing down, and look at this. Just fucking plowed right through it. No mercy. 
Pretty cool, huh? If you want to see more videos like this about this kind of content, then you already know where to reach me, okay? Check out the other channel so you can see, you know, Mexico. And all awesome stuff Mexico. But yeah, look at that. A lot of noise. And now you, now you know why I left the house for the day. <laughs> Anyways, guys. All right, you already know the deal. Um, don't forget to watch this uh, little Gary V kicking the ass at the end of this video. And uh, you already know the other deal. Don't forget to check out the other channel. Check out the Discord. Check out um, all the links at the bottom, uh, the description of this video. Check out my website. Just check everything out, guys. I fucking love you to death. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon. But more importantly than anything else, don't forget to stay awesome. Thanks again for watching. And uh, don't forget to check out Gary V. Laters. Love you. See you Wednesday. Bye. So I think when the economy collapses next, I think there's a lot of shit being hidden right now by money in the system that is gonna be really gnarly, like really negative. I'm very, very concerned about the next downturn. Because unlike 08, unlike 01, we're all now living public lives. So all of our failures are gonna be extremely public. And most people don't have the mental strength to deal with it. So, and a lot of it is parenting stuff. So I'm trying to just, I'm just not ready to write it. You know? It will be a completely public shift. Oh my God. It will. You know, you got a lot of people posturing that they're ballers and they're killing it, and then they're gonna lose, and they're gonna have to go work somewhere, and they're not gonna be able to hide, and it's gonna hurt. Too much. It's necessary. It's super necessary. It should have happened in 09. The reason it's gonna be so bad is we didn't actually pay the piper in 09. We built it up. We bailed ourselves out. So nobody really felt the pain. Like some people got hurt, but we didn't get hurt. I mean, we could have been in some. We weren't willing to have four years of like, most people selling their homes and rent, like we didn't go there. They did in the 30s, which is why we had 60 years of prosperity. We were too soft and not willing to go there. Which is why America will lose and look more like Europe. <laughs> <laughs> it will, it's 100%, it's already done. China's gonna win. They own. It's the land of, <laughs> <laughs> it's the land of a lot. I, listen, I love it, but like, there, there's a. Re, I mean, Europe's in real, real, real trouble. It's it's now a global afterthought. Yeah. I wasn't joking when I said it's irrelevant. Yeah. It is now an Asia America world, and in 20 years, it'll be an Africa, Asia America world, and Europe will be. Europe's just not a player. No. It just doesn't mean anything. We're crippled now. I mean. Germany and France. And it's Europe. over. It's over. Spain. I mean, like. The state of Texas is more important than 50% of the countries in Europe, like economically. Like it's, and America's gonna have the same thing because Europe was the global power and then it got soft and eighth place trophies become, and we worry about dumb shit. And that's what America's doing now. Is there anything I can do or anybody here can do to help you with any of your goals? Yes, execute on what I'm telling you.